Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at how to move one cell to the left of our active cell. We'll do this primarily using the left arrow key and also look at using our cursor to achieve the same result. So with that, let's get started. Again, I'm going to open Excel by clicking on the Excel icon here on my quick launch toolbar. As we looked at in the last example, we have a worksheet that we can use for an example where we maybe have some eBooks that we're selling on Amazon and we have a series of different tables. Again, the numbers aren't super important, neither are the tables. We're just going to use these as a, as a mechanism to demonstrate moving to our right, left, above, and below. So with that, let's move on to this specific lesson, contents. So in the last lesson, we looked at using the right arrow to move one cell to the right or to use our cursor. We reviewed that if you are within an active cell rather than on a cell, then you have to do a couple of extra steps. So you're on a cell when that cell is active, but you're not actually in the contents of the cell so that you can make some form of edit such as five. I'm gonna hit control Z to undo that. If you are in the cell, if you press the right or left, right or left cursor, you'll move within the contents of the cell one at a time and you would have to hit escape to cancel. Or if you could, you could press control enter to enter those changes without, without moving. And if you again wanted to move, accept those changes and move to the right, you could press tab. So if you want to move within a cell to your left, the same set of rules would apply. So if you are on a cell rather than in a cell, meaning the cell contents are not active, you can tap your left arrow key once and that would move you to the left. Again, you tap your left arrow key once and you would move to the next cell on your left. However, if you are in that cell, then when you press the left arrow key, it would move one character at a time and you would either have to press escape to exit out of that, then you can move left, or if you're in this cell here, you could press control enter to make sure that those changes were saved and then the left key. Or let's say that we were here and maybe we would change this to 334. If we want to accept those changes and automatically move to the right, we're going to press shift tab, which I believe we'll cover in a later video. But the same set of rules apply to moving to your left as they do to moving to your right. So just like we looked at in the last video, you can use your cursor. So if you are on a cell and you wanna to move to your left, you can scroll over that target cell, the cell that you'd like to go to, and then click once. Again, you would wanna make sure that you're not in that cell, and then you can click. And you can also just tap your left arrow. In this video, we looked at using your left arrow to move one cell to your left, or you can use your mouse and just automatically click. In our next video, we'll look at how to move one cell at a time in the upwards direction by using the up arrow as well as your mouse cursor. So check that out in the next video if you are so interested, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.